Hey guys, Jake Blow the Habitat Pro here. Going to give you um, a heads up here on a pretty common mistake that some guys have when using Roundup. Uh, this plot was pretty unique. We came in here, did the tiller, and then we had to wait a couple weeks because we got a we had 90 degree weather in the forecast. So what we had to do was let it sit here, and it sat for about two weeks. And when we had time to finally plant, and when the weather was right, we had rain in the forecast and a nice cool week in the 60s and 70s coming. We came out and planted while well, we found out that the plot was covered in some pigweed which the landowner had stated was Roundup resistant and because um, he couldn't kill it in his soybean plots and everything. So what we did was we made sure that we put the water in the tank and then put a product, product in it called uh, ammonium sulfate, AMS, if you're asking for it from your chemical guy. And once you put that in there, it helps the Roundup to go in and the chemical then won't bind with the iron and the other um, nutrients and minerals in the well water or the hard water that you have so you're not going to lose your Roundup. What he was doing was just putting the well water right in the tank and then putting the glyphosate in and he was losing a bunch of his Roundup because it bound up with the iron and other minerals in the tank and so he was basically spraying on water and just a partial rate of his Roundup. Well, you can see it definitely is not Roundup resistant pigweed. All of this stuff right here is, this is only five days after spraying it. We're in full sun, um, so it really took up the chemical. And that ammonium sulfate also acts like a, acts like a fertilizer. So the plant thinks it has some good uh, um, fertilizer on it, so it really takes off. But you can see here that this also didn't harm our food plot. We've got our seedlings coming because we got in here uh, two days after the rain, which is probably two to three days before any germination would have taken place in the winter wheat and the forage oats and the Austrian winter pea that is in this harvest salad mix that we've got on this. And you can see that was a very common success rate over the whole plot. Right here in the corner we had a huge problem and then down there we had a huge problem as well. So this plot should take off now because we don't have any competition for our plants that are now coming. It was tilled, spread over the top with harvest salad, dragged in and then rolled. And then we got rained on immediately that night and had a couple days of rain. So this should come pretty good now. We have a few weeds that's fine because it's a food plot we're not farming this stuff for seed so um, now we're just going to let this come can't really come in with any other chemicals on that harvest salad you got to have a good weed free plot when you plant this is jake blow habitat pro give us a call 303-458-1000